Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schizo Pro Gamer. Today we're doing a game between Snooty or Snoot and uh, Stefano. So this is game number four, in fact, uh, of a best of five. And um, yeah, it's obviously two and one. So if you don't want to get spoiled, you might want to plug your ear for a moment. So uh, yeah, it is Snoot who is ahead, two to one. And well, we are now playing for that uh, that fi maybe final game, maybe, I don't know yet. So uh, I can't spoil you, uh, spoil you because I really truly don't know whether this is the last game or not. So even if I say that, oh man, this is the last game, watch for it. No, I'm going to put up a spoiler video if this is a last game, uh, but since I don't know, I uh, yeah, I can't spoil you. So even, as I said, even if I say uh, this this is the last game guys so you don't have to watch game five i don't know yet so i'm i will know when game five comes around or rather at the end of this game then i will know whether there's a game five um yeah we don't have spawning pools coming out it seems both of them just um just farming up oh wow we're not at spawning pool yet uh spawning pools cost 200 and there you go getting the spawning pool out and this guy is going to expand, so um, Stefano going for the early expand and that is normally, uh, well, a little bit more economical, although it doesn't really matter too much for Zerk, because Zerk of course gets the queen and the queen will spawn uh, extra larvae which can then turn into extra drones, which means that, well, you don't really get to mine a whole lot more just because you went for, uh, for an expansion first. And we are going to get the expansion now. We're going to get the spawning pool here. So, kind of the standard thing. You can pretty much do whatever you want. But we do have the extractor coming up. Which means speed zerglings are going to be underway. He's going to uh, mine 100 gas for that uh, speed upgrade. And if he timed this correctly, which I'm assuming he did. Uh, he will have the 100 gas the moment the spawning pool actually uh, pops. And he will have that available as soon as that comes up and be able to uh, upgrade as soon as that... Um... No, he's, he didn't time that correctly. Not by a long shot. Oh, he only has 28 when it comes out. So yeah, it's going to take a while and then he's, go he's eventually going to go for that, I'm assuming. Because otherwise there's really no reason to go for that. Although... It does help out with uh, the uh, once you go for roaches. Uh, yeah, it's just not as common. But I'm now thinking that he wants to go for roaches. I don't even know if the roach warren actually requires you to have gas. No, I didn't think so. So normally we see the gas a little bit later if people go for roaches. And yeah, well, there's that. So anyhow, currently the spawning pool are out for both of them. The queens are out for both of them. And we are going to once again see the creep tumors come out for one player, not for the other. And yeah, the it is a completely different strategy in a Zerg vs Zerg game. Obviously, if you produce an extra queen here, wow, almost getting a drone here. But it is not going to work out. Uh, almost getting a drone, but if you produce an, an extra queen for the creep tumors, then yeah, you're going to be a little bit behind on the rest because queens are, well, they're not expensive. They cost 150 minerals and yeah, that's that's quite all right, but they could have been something else. I mean, 150 minerals can be invested in quite a lot of things. And we are going to see the Baneling Nest come up once again. We're going to see if, uh, if this guy actually goes for an extra queen here, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Wow, really working on, well, walking after that overlord all the way, even though he's now going to miss his inject on this one for a few seconds. And yeah, it's it's not a big deal, but it is a deal. It does matter a little bit. So once again, we are going for that bingling nest. And once again, we are probably going for roach warren here. Yeah, there we go. Um, has the evolution chambers up, so two evolution chambers, one of them is going to be just for blocking, one of them is going to be for upgrades, and the complete wall off once again, Protoss style. So we are going to, uh, yeah, cancel this, and that, because as I said, that was just for blocking, and you really don't want to uh, 
to miss that block because if those uh, those zerglings just get past that is going to suck so a lot of banelings out here he's going to try to baneling bust his way through and once again we have the evolution chamber coming up trying to get that done with uh, with the block and wow we are going to just completely annihilate that with our queens uh, but not entirely okay I kind of thought that was done but no not so much so uh, Stefano in a good position now he is going to be able to rush in to this mineral line with his banelings and oh no detonate here oh he's going for yeah that was that was terrible that was terrible yeah there you go and now you see how strong that could have been he could have killed like 10 uh, 10 of those uh, those drones easily and instead he got well he got 14 total sure but he got way less he got like four out of the first uh, two detonations and that was not good he got 14 total which is excellent um yeah we are still rushing in but sticking with zerglings has proven to be his fatal flaw so i'm going to think that this is not going to end very well for him he does pick off one more i believe two more okay excellent two more is good but the roaches are out and the roaches are not going to be very good in this oh four more yeah he does pick up <coughs> a whole lot of those uh, of those drone kills which is excellent but well we are going to be, a be able to rebuild as you can see walling off once again and probably going to keep it this time because he knows that uh, the bailing bust is going to come in and no extra base yet he can see that by the way but no extra base yet for our um, our red player here Stefano does not want to have that extra base even though it would probably be good so a fourth evolution chamber coming up just in case this one goes down and that is uh, that's very likely actually to to happen so we do have some queens coming up and well currently resources lost yeah 500 more resources for the red player uh, that that were lost so keep that in mind he's actually behind uh, even though he was the one that's that was being aggressive and if he just um, if he went for that uh, yeah that group that was over here with the the, uh, the banelings he would have gotten more done and he would have gotten uh, more resources out of that and he shouldn't have attacked with more uh, zerglings this amount of zerglings it, it's it just zerglings are not good enough against roaches and he knows that but I guess people still try these things but he, he knows that I mean they, they just don't do enough damage banelings do um, uh, versus uh, armored units 20 damage minus the armor which is one so they do 19 damage on a, a unit with 145 HP that means you you have to detonate eight of them on well on one of these that is that is a huge amount that that is an insane amount you're never going to get that and oh, oh so close oh so close to actually taking that down and i think that was it i mean the extra base is coming up he could not take it out he did lose quite a few extra zirclings 800 minerals or well resources behind though it's mainly minerals though and yeah we're going to have to see if he can actually turn this back but now finally has the roaches out and these roaches are going to be a little bit late to the party he does have his own uh, third base up so that's at least good but are they going to be able to do anything the red roach is getting caught here what are we doing with these roaches three roaches is running in the middle of nowhere and he might actually lose all three of them but the rest of his roach army is coming up so no he's not going to uh, he's not going to lose them could have sniped one of the roaches but he didn't know what was chasing him and we do have a pretty significant amount of roaches here now so we're just going to look at the unit stab here to see who's actually ahead uh, the red player is a little bit ahead in roaches and well 
it is pretty much equal. So that's surprising. I guess there is a little bit of a difference between the workers. The red actually has, a, has more workers. And uh, the army supply is going in the advantage of the blue player here. Does he have circlings then that I completely missed? Uh, units. No. Oh, okay. No, he produced seven more uh, roaches there. And yeah, that I obviously did not see that. So seven more roaches coming up here for the red player now. And oh, we're going to lose some roaches here for no reason at all. Oh, overextended with his army and got caught by the enemy army. So this might actually turn out really bad because he lost like three already. Might actually be a fourth and a fifth. But we are going to, oh, sandwiched. And he's gonna, the blue player is now going to lose some roaches. But it is not as many as, um, as the red player lost. And this is an insanely strong group of roaches right here. And the red player does have a better concave, but I don't think it matters because he doesn't have them grouped up enough to do the damage here. And the blue player is going to come out ahead. He has great focus. So very uh, little roaches that, uh, that are actually left at low HP. Most of the time he just uh, takes them out instantly. And because of that, yeah, we have a lot of low health ro roaches in here or damaged roaches. And if you spread out the damage, obviously, even a damaged roach does full damage. So if you take down a roach to 35 HP, then that 110 HP that you took, uh, took out is completely useless. Up until the point it dies, it is completely useless damage. And obviously that is what happened here. The, the focus of the red player was just not good. He, uh, he left a lot of roaches at low health or at, well, uh, damaged at least. And did not take them out, but he is going to at least hold off this push for now. But he did lose a base, and without that base, I don't think he can actually come back. The income is much higher for the blue player. He doesn't have any gas mining, though. Why does he not have any gas mining? Oh, he has some, some reserves, I guess. He wanted to make sure that he could produce those roaches as efficiently as possible, and... Yeah, now going to go into the gas mining again. Although, no. Oh no, it's ticking down. I was just... No, it's, it is... Hmm? I don't know what's happening. He's not mining it, but it is going up. Oh, now we are mining. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Um, so... Units then, units produced. Uh, we do have roaches still coming out for both of them. Uh, they might actually switch to something else, although there's not a whole lot that can actually do well versus roaches. But if you go for Mutalisk right here and you make the attack switch and you can defend your bases for a little bit, and with all of these uh, overlords out, it's really easy, of course, to see where the army is going. But if you can make the, the attack switch to Mutalisk and you don't lose your bases, you will win. But it is a risky move and both of them do not want to make that move. Um, yeah, for Stefano I can definitely see why. Because he wants to make sure that he doesn't lose this game because of that tax switch. Um, for uh, the uh, Snoot, sorry I, I completely blanked on his name. For Snoot it is, uh, of course, he knows that he's ahead here. He, he knows that this uh, if, if he wins this game... Uh, then, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so he will win, and otherwise he's get, going to get a second chance of winning this uh, this series. And for those of you who hadn't seen that yet, because I didn't warn you about the spoiler, I don't really care. Then I mean, you should have watched the other games. That it has been um, quite the same every game. That is true. Zerk versus Zerk can be, uh, especially at high levels, can be very boring uh, i still think think that it's uh, one of the most uh, yeah potent uh, well mirror matches i guess because you can do a whole bunch of different strategies you can get a whole bunch of different strategies that well are actually viable and while the red has way better concaves here 
and uh, not on this side he's going to lose this side uh, but he is going to win this side but there are way more roaches out oh my god blue has so much more but red is resupplying and might actually come out ahead here he is going to get a whole bunch of damage done and yeah he holds it off once again so the base is back up it is fully mining once again 14 drones on there 18 drones over here and let's see well we are equal in army supply and worker supply is a little bit ahead for the blue player so he might actually have a little bit higher income yeah a little bit higher in um, the minerals not in the gas though and that might actually prove to be very significant wow this is really a close match man it is insanely close we are now uh, 22 minutes in and the army is still equal i call it for snoot like three times already so i'm still going to think that uh, he actually is going to come out ahead but there's nothing pointing towards that actually gets a cancelled hatchery here and um, we are going to pick off some roaches here i think not actually sure so once again the hatchery is going to come up and we have a hydralis den coming out now for snoot and hydralis are one of the tech choices that you can make against roaches hydralis do a lot of damage and uh, they are very very weak as in hp wise the other choice is of course the infestors and the infestors do extra damage with that fungal growth to um, uh, to, to, to do armored units or they remove that huh they remove that never mind so it does flat damage now <laughs> didn't keep up with the, the patch notes as usual but yeah we um we are going to do uh, massive damage with that anyway because uh, the uh, fungal growth of course can damage multiple roaches at the same time but yeah the problem is the units so the infestor doesn't do anything outside of that they only do damage for that uh, that one burst and that can be a significant amount of damage but if you over uh, yeah if you over commit to them uh, then you will have useless units and they are really expensive units so let's see the oh i can't maybe the other guy still alive yeah Come on, give me, give me a, <laughs> he doesn't have one. Uh, I wanted to have uh, one of those, uh, one of those larvae, but he doesn't have a larva. It's okay, it's okay. They're really expensive units and the tech switch just didn't pay off. Uh, yeah, I guess it was just the wrong tech switch. Uh, couldn't get enough damage on the roaches to make that worth it. Of course, roaches do 20 damage with each deck. So if you have the fungal growth, which is 30 damage and you sacrifice let's say two roaches to build an infester then you could have done that damage probably in like four attacks so you go well no each each unit you hit is one and a half attacks which means if you can produce two roaches that's 0 0.75 attacks or something like that so if you have uh, more roaches then you can do more damage with those uh, or sorry if you hit more roaches with the infestors you can do more damage with those and it might actually become worth it but he didn't hit enough of them well obviously because he lost and he was behind so all in all yeah very unfortunate for him but someone has to win right might as well be snoot anyway hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time gg